back shell squad. Sophie's not, throat isn't feeling so well today, so we are gonna be doing this solo. All right, in this video, we are gonna show you exactly what we got going on here today because uh, at the pond, we noticed that one of the turtles that wasn't eating started eating again. Um, so let's go see what that's all about and we'll try to explain. Well, I'm gonna show you just how big some of the albino red air sliders got today. But first, let's go to the Diamondback Terrapin, uh, one of their tanks, and let's check out what's going on there. Ginger, <laughs> thought you were trying to chew my shoe right there. It was a stick, <laughs> scared me. This gal is Cinnamon. She has a story to tell. We've actually had her for quite some time. She had really bad shell rot. In fact, it looked like she had minimal shell rot. And then we, after she shed, it got really bad. As you can see here, um, she's still shedding it off and healing from it um, and it's been years uh, the keeper at the time said you know what it's just minimal and she's doing great so i took her once i found out she had all these issues uh he was gone um, it took a lot of time but she's looking a lot better now and she is actually laying eggs this season look at all that shell rot that's healing but still having a hard time uh, there was a small point in time I didn't think she was going to make it. She's hardly grown in the last three years. But each year she continues to do better and better. And now she's actually laying eggs. Alright, it is nesting season. We are sneak peeking at one picky female who hasn't eaten in a week. Trying to, trying to lay some eggs apparently because... I felt some eggs that dropped and she is now, I put her down right next to the soil right here and she just started laying eggs right under this plant here. And you could probably see her right here. Look at the bottom left of the screen. That's her. She's just peeking out through all the brush while she's digging her, digging her thing back there. And this female decided to lay right here. So she's taking a break, it looks like. All right, let's get her back in the water there. And we're gonna start digging in here. Cinnamon actually started eating uh, like a champ again. Sophie says she felt something. And uh, so <laughs> we think we found it. I mean, like I said, so let's get back to the behavior. So she was not eating, she was swimming uh, pretty frantically around her pond that she has. And we don't have, unfortunately, a lot of egg laying options. So I like to take my turtles out and use the world. Um, there. <laughs> Sophie's giving us a thumbs up. She found it right there. Okay, let's see, let's zoom in a little bit here. As Sophie digs that out, let me show you this here. This is actually vermiculite in the last video. Uh, you probably saw us do a container with perlite. So we always like to experiment between the two. Um, this one we've put together just about the same way. But so far, Sophie's found three here. And I think they are looking better, actually. So these, oh, is that four? Because this is her first time laying in a while, I'm, I'm not even sure any of this is going to be fertile. Um, she, she's just been through way too much. All right, so, so Sophie's going to go ahead and transfer the first couple of eggs here. Last check there that's probably all of them so that looks like it Sophie is plugging everything back up so if you see any broken eggs get rid of all the dirt too um, that's in that whole area so here we go we're gonna go ahead and get these in the incubator and keep you guys posted um, I don't think any of these are going to be fertile but hey I'm just happy she is uh, laying eggs now we're gonna go ahead and get these eggs in their very old incubator we have just kind of a brief summary uh, if the turtles are digging through dirt, 
If they dig and they bury themselves, that's kind of different. But if they're digging with their back legs and putting their head in the sand and smelling the dirt and then start digging with their back legs, they're trying to lay eggs. Also, if they just continuously swim, they don't want to come out the water unless they're just, you know, continuously exploring too. That's a sign. They're, they look restless is what it is. You put food in there and they're not interested and they're not eating. Sometimes mine, mine go for like three weeks not eating and that's mostly because I don't have enough land area that they find suitable. So always make sure you have time to get them out. Uh, we managed to get her laying uh, within the week, which is great. And with that being said, shell out Shell Squad. This is exclusive. We are live here on scene.